Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. On this day, the 19th of Muharram al-Haram, the remaining members of Ahlul Bayt alayhum salam who were kept as captives left Kufa and were taken towards Asham. They were of course still grieving and mourning the tragedy of Karbala and were treated in the worst of ways by the Bani Umayyah tyrants. The cursed Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad had kept them in prison in Kufa and sent a letter to Yazid asking what he should do with the severed heads of the Shuhada and the captives. Yazid replied, ordering the heads and the captives be sent to him in Sham. Of course, Ibn Ziyad happily complied out of fear that the people were going to revolt against him in Iraq. Sham at that time was the stronghold of Bani Umayyah and they had established themselves very, very well there. As far as the women, only the Hashimiyat were kept as captives and taken to Sham because the women of the Ansar of Imam Hussein alayhi salam were interceded by their clans and saved from imprisonment. It is said that the Sabaya of Karbala arrived in Sham on the 1st of Safar and many events occurred then, especially the encountering with Yazid in his palace. <laughs> أعطينا ستا وفضلنا بسبع أعطينا العلم والحلم والسماحة والفصاحة والشجاعة والمحبة في قلوب المؤمنين وفضلنا بأن منا النبي المختار ومنا الصديق ومنا الطيار ومنا أسد الله وأسد رسوله ومنا سبطا هذه الأمة من عرفني فقد عرفني ومن لم يعرفني أنبأته بحسبي ونسبي أيها الناس أنا ابن مكة ومنا أنا ابن زمزم والصفا أنا ابن من حمل الركن بأطراف الردى أنا ابن خير من اتزر وارتدى أنا ابن خير من انتعل واحتفى أنا ابن خير من طاف وسعى one of the things we know are the different places where the blessed heads were put. And they are, of course, referred to as Mashhad Ru'us Shuhada or even Mashhad Ra'sul Hussein alayhi salam. They didn't stay very long in Asham, and it's said on the 8th of Safar they headed back towards Karbala, arriving for the Arba'een of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. والحمد لله رب العالمين